Literally my worst nightmare. Never thought this would happen to us. Stop! <laughs> there's, there's eight sharks. All right, coming in. Welcome to the story of three sailors taking the long way home to Australia on a 38-foot boat called Finding Avalon. Well, the moon is still aglow. In tomorrow, there'll be sunshine. In the garden, will be... We've got a complete a southerly front that we're coming through. Unfortunately, the front has beaten us. I hope the pass goes well. Our first proper atoll pass in Avalon. Welcome back to the remote atolls of the Tuamotu. Last week, we arrived in Fakarava after five days at sea. And as this part of the world is famous for its black pearls, we went exploring for treasures. You did not want to say goodbye. After hanging out in the north of Fakarava to see out some bad weather, we were ready to head to the south of the island. We've been holding out for the south, as apparently there is some of the best diving you will ever find, plus the world's highest concentration of sharks. Some words to heal and a place to pray. Sailing conditions were hyper smooth, and I guess we all got a little bit too comfortable. In your eyes. But is love Literally my worst nightmare. I never thought this would happen to us. 20 metres right there. Yeah. So, yeah, you, someone should have seen that, but that's alright. We're just on sand, alright? So what we need to do is we need to try to get the boat over on its side and motor forward. Yeah, okay. All right? So the way we're going to do that is we're going to pull mainsail up, which is going to give us leverage over there. Yeah. And then we're going to, with the dinghy and another um, rope, we're going to try to pull it over and we're going to motor straight through, okay? Yeah. It's, it's pretty clear. It's just sand straight through there. I don't know how much time we got. ships coming this way. <laughs> That's just what we need. Oi! <laughs> have you got any have you got any pool noodles in there? We'll need a lot. Right here. 
Jackson. Huh? What? Merci. See you at the south. Yes, we'll see you there tomorrow. Wow. Um, that super yacht was coming to get us. That would have been fun. So we just had a first on Avalon. Uh, we ran aground, which is, uh, yeah, was a little bit scary. Uh, more embarrassing than anything else. We managed to hit a perfectly marked reef uh, in broad daylight. And it had a name. And it had a name. <laughs> Xanth was downstairs making a sandwich. I was fixing the main sheet. Lex was reading a book and it was honestly just like two minutes of misconcentration and we just went the wrong side of a marker and um, yeah unfortunately ran the boat up onto a little corally sand spit uh, it was it wasn't hard corals like there were little hard corals around but we didn't hit that it was more just like running up on a sandbar we had to flag down a Frenchman passing by on a uh, nice powerful motorboat and he pulled us off pretty quick. We were trying really hard with the dinghy to, with, with a halyard to pull it over and we had the full sail up but there was just not enough breeze, not enough power in the dinghy to pull Avalon just over enough. Um, but yeah, look, everyone talks about been really careful navigating the Tuamotos and these passes and French Polynesia and just the South Pacific in general because the charts are often really inaccurate and whatnot. But I've got to say the charts in this cage were absolutely spot on to about half a meter accuracy. When my gardens grow, I'll remain on the inside. The bottom of this anchorage was basically all coral heads with a few patches of sand here and there. We'd heard all too many horror stories of sailors getting their anchor chains wrapped around coral heads, so we secured a few fenders to the anchor chain to give it a bit of lift. And did he make you feel alright? Like I never could. What's it like down there? There's a shark coming up to you right now. <laughs> there's, there's eight sharks. You've got me in a bit of a Where did you sleep last night? Where did you undress? Yeah. And did he make you feel the whole right? Like I never could. They say that time shakes shackles off a man And I wanna be free I wanna be free I wanna be free Maybe one day I will look from the outside Just snooping around my dear Until that moment Thankfully the keel wasn't looking too bad after today's incident We woke up happy to be in Tetamanu And we hit up our friends on sailboat Alfie to go freediving the South Pass Where did you, Andre? What we're gonna do today? Gonna go do some free diving. Oh yeah. Bomb in the pass. <laughs> I bloody hope so. I was waiting in the undertow. Set a drift with feather wing light bulbs. On a where and where my heart. Waiting in the undertow. Mm -hmm. Can't touch the bar. Just dinged 
crashed to the South Pass with our mates from Selva Alpha over there. And um, we're quite excited about this because we just walked out this morning just to have some brekkie on the bow of the boat and there was sharks going nuts and um, the biggest angelfish I've ever seen just to be chewing on the algae on the side of the boat. I have a feeling there's going to be a lot of flying down here. Um, we've chosen to come low, low tide because the current is not so gnarly at the moment. We can do a drift dive of some sort. I was waiting in the undertow. Set a drift with fed away light bulbs. Unaware of where my heart restaurant in town was preparing lunch and the sharks were all over it. <laughs> Commenting on the daredevil sucker fish on the shark because when the food gets thrown into the water they're departing to get the food. So they have to time it very delicately so they can get the food and get back onto a shark without a shark getting We lost our attention, lost the light across the ocean of our lives. You know what's wrong to be with you. So we've got a few little boat jobs on Avalon to do, and um, I asked them there at the dive shop where the local chandlery was. Then I was just on the other side of the island. Um, there's a few boat parts over there. So we've we'll just come over here to explore the local chandlery. And uh, we found this. This gorgeous 52 foot default was washed up on the rocks barely a week ago after misjudging their entry through Fakurava's notoriously tricky south pass. Seeing this definitely put things in perspective for us about the little tickle we'd had on the sand the day previous. We were quite lucky. Oh, what do you think of that harkin, Jackson? That's a brand spanker, dude. 
Her owners took only the sails and left French Polynesia never to return again. The locals are pretty devastated about the mess, but they're certainly making the best of a bad situation. In just a week, both the locals and the cruisers of the anchorage have almost stripped her bare. Engine, gone. Steering wheels, gone. Boom, gone. Blocks, sheets and pulleys, gone. And whilst we were there, someone had come to take the fridge. Guys, one week left for the Finding Avalon merch. We've got until the 1st of September to grab one of these puppies, so time really is running out. The campaign will be finito on the 1st of September, so get in there, link, link below. If you feel sorry for us running aground, then please give this video a big fat like, um, a comment, share it, um, tell your friends, and hell, become a patron. For those of you that don't know, we're on Patreon, and basically it's um, a little community that we've created for people that love our videos and want to support the adventure. So if you're keen to join that community and help us continue putting out these videos, then check out the link below. Speaking of which, it's time to invite a patron on board. And the winner is Brent Clemstein. Brent, if you're keen to join us on board, then send us an email and we will make this happen for you. Yeah, can't wait to have you aboard, mate. Yeah, cool. Well, um, thanks for joining us this week, guys. See us next week as we lose our drone and Alexa in one fell swoop. Bad yeah, day. Bad day. <laughs> bad day. Anyway. Great episode. Great episode. <laughs> Second, aka Audrey, um, has had a little bit of a Like a summer without sun, you know what's wrong to be with you. I never felt you wanted to. Alexa signing out, thanks for having me. Super stoked. Sharing these videos simply would not be possible without our patrons, so a huge thanks to them. If you're keen to gain access to real time updates, live chats, a chance to come on board, or just want to support the journey, jump on the Patreon love train.